Holy crap, those are some giant fish. They're right, look at that, there's three of them right there. Oh, my drag is way too loose. Oh, he's swimming over to it, he just ate it, he just ate it. Got him, let's go baby, sight fishing from like 50 feet above him. Yes, yes baby. Ooh, why hello folks. Welcome back to another video, and uh, don't mind my uh, horribly uncut uh, hair and beard. I'm getting pretty much to the point where I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy a pair of clippers and just zzz, not my beard, my head. But you know, getting a little getting a little crazy here in quarantine these days. Also, don't mind all this stuff. I'm actually going through uh, a process. Hold on, let me turn you guys around. Going through a process of cleaning out my fishing man cave, as you can see. Yeah, this is not a pretty sight, but check this out. Look how nice it looks in here. Now I've got a long way to go, but we're definitely getting there. That's gonna be for a different video. I'm actually gearing up for a little fishing expedition today, but uh, before we get into the fishing expedition, I first wanna give a huge shout out to the video sponsor for today, and that is Raid Shadow Legends. Now, I don't know about you guys, but during these just weird, tough times where we're kind of we're a little bored, you know, we've got, some, we've got some restrictions, we've got some stay at home orders, we have some quarantine things we're dealing with right now, and for me, one of the big things that has helped me kind of keep myself occupied with some of that free time has been video games, and specifically this video game. This little bad boy right here, this game, <laughs> this has been saving my butt. So a little background about the game, it's an RPG. I mean, if you guys, it's a role-playing game. So we've got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But for me personally, I'm not a big fan of like the cartoonish, you know, unicorns and rainbows and like anime type RPG games. I am just a straight up, like, let's go kill some monsters. You know, let's go throw an ax into somebody's face. And this game fulfills those needs very well. There's all different kinds of modes that you can play on this game. My personal favorite is campaign. That's when you just kind of run through the story of the game. You have all these different characters that you can play with, all these different things you can collect, all these different bosses and monsters you can kill. But they also have game modes like 1v1, like a PvP. That's where you just, you choose your character and then you play against somebody else on the game. That's a really fun mode. My favorite character is a green fellow by the name of Gaelic, or Gaelic, I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name but he is a big old muscled up green dude. Kinda looks like the Incredible Hulk with a mohawk, and he's tatted up, muscled up, you know, so that's basically my spirit animal. That's what I wish I could be, you know? But he's the type of guy, if he throws an ax at you, you're gonna be in a bad, you're gonna be having a bad day. There's also a thing going on right now called the Daily Login Rewards Program, and basically what that means is, Every single day, if you log into the game, you're gonna be getting rewarded with new stuff. That could be like energy refills, silver, gems, shards, and you're gonna get a free Barbarian Legendary Champion. And this particular one's gonna be called Skyle of the Drake. And this lady right here, she's, she's a bad lady, okay? Let me just tell you. Would not wanna be fighting her in the old octagon. But that little program's running for 180 days. That's six months from right now. So it's a nice little cool thing for new players. They also have for new players, when you download the game, as soon as you get in there, you're going to receive 200,000 silver and one other free champion. This one's name is Tree Feller. So yeah, got that to look forward to. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly when you log into the game. So this is what the kind of like the, the campaign game screen is gonna look like. And to access your rewards when you become a new player or if you're doing that daily login thing, it's actually gonna be right up there. That little button right there, you can check, see if you have anything. So yeah, basically, all in all, it's a it's a great game. It's 100% free to download, you know, on all your devices, anything you want. So if you guys are interested in that, just click the link right in the top of the description and that will take you to go download it. I've been playing the thing nonstop, so go ahead and check them out if you want to. But once again, big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Wow, I just realized that I had my lens like kind of zoomed in a little bit. So I was like way too close to my face. Now I got the lens actually zoomed the right way. So yeah, now we're doing, now we're cooking with grease as they say. So we are going to some ponds today. I've only fished on this channel one other time and we had one heck of a day out there. But these ponds are what I like to call the fountain ponds. And when you get there, you will see exactly why I call them the fountain ponds. There's two little ponds, giant fountains in between them or in the middle of them. And you already know, a pond with fountains in it, it's gonna have big fish and they're gonna be hiding maybe in and around that fountain. I have no idea as far as like tackle, what I'm gonna bring. I'm thinking like just straight up Texas rig, you know I mean? The fish have been really shallow lately. So there's no reason for me to throw a whole lot of other stuff rather than 
some Texas rigs, maybe a weightless, maybe a weighted Texas rig, maybe some bed fishings in the mix, I don't know. I don't really know. But hopefully we can get on some nice little fish out here in the fountain ponds. And uh, maybe we can see some big fish while we're out there too. I have a good feeling about today. It's a nice little day, nice weather. I'm gonna change shirts real quick, get my fishing attire on, and I will see you guys out at the fountain ponds. All right, folks, really quickly, before we jump into the fishing aspect of today's video, I just wanna do a quick little disclaimer really quickly. Um, if you're somebody who lives where I live in Alabama and knows where these ponds are, a lot of people do, because they're pretty, they're pretty well-known ponds, um, I would urge you not to just come out here and start fishing them, okay, because you've seen me fishing them in YouTube videos, okay, uh, do what I did and go through the right process, go to the administration, go to the, uh, the HR department of this company, if you know, if you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, and get permission to fish here, okay, that's what I did, I went to their HR department, I went to their uh, corporate office, let me see if I can get it out, and I have this right here, this is written permission so that I can fish here, so um, you know, I don't want anybody to get like a trespassing ticket or, you know, get yelled at and kicked off of a property or anything like that. So let's avoid that. Don't do, don't just come out here and start fishing. Make sure you have permission. And uh, that should be a good rule of thumb anyways for you guys. I know I've, I've been, I've made mistakes like that before in the past and just kind of, oh, he's fishing there. So I should go fish there. Make sure that you're allowed to fish there. And uh, yeah, so that's my uh, learning moment with Lojo, old Uncle Lojo today. <laughs> let's start rolling some GoPro footage and get into the actual video today. Okay, well, I think I've got just about everything that I need. A little expedition. Got this little miscellaneous bag full of plastic. As you can see, there's like Kraken Craws, Trench Hogs, um, a spare Texas rig, a Lunker Log, and then there's some Slim Shake Worms in there. I think that's pretty much all we're gonna need on a day like today. Got two rads, we've got the weightless set up in the weighted texas rig that's that's we're keeping it pretty simple we're not going to complicate things too much today the weather is just so nice these fish have got to be munching on some soft some softy plastics you know what i'm saying this is always the awkward part where we're just walking around <laughs> with freaking fishing rods and a giant camera not suspicious at all right but hey i have written permission to film here so just waiting for somebody to try and stop me. Plus, with the stay-at-home order, I don't know if any of these people are actually working right now. The only people I've even seen out here have been like groundskeepers or people on lawnmowers and stuff. There she blows. Ye old fountain pond. <laughs> Come on, let me see some fish on beds right when we first walk up. That would be great. Ooh. That looks like, uh... Oh, yeah, there's a little bass right there. I thought I saw one. I think there's a bed right there too. Well, before we go any further, let's just, I mean, for the heck of it, let's just cast at him. Let's put the trench hog right on this bed right here. Well, I think it's a bed. I don't know, he's kind of swimming off. If you ever think you see a bass, just go ahead and assume that it's a bass. Don't keep walking closer. <laughs> Lojo lesson of the day. I am on the bed right now. I don't see the bass anymore. Good job, Lojo. Way to spook off the the only fish that we see. It's okay though. It's a good sign. He was super shallow. He was in like inches, inches of water. And he was right there. I think I see a bass out here. He's kind of uh Yep, I do. It's a nice it's a decent size one too. Think about a pond like this, there could literally be beds like anywhere. And there probably are. I mean they're just it's, it's a real shallow pond, except for right out there where the fountain is. So there could just be beds strewn across the entire thing. What about the old weightless lunker log? What about that? Give him something nice and slow to gather his attention. Ooh, there's another little bass right there. That is a good sign, boys. We are seeing them. He's right here in front of this little waterfall. Where did he go? Oh, he's swimming over to it. Oh, he's swimming over to it. He just ate it. He just ate it. Got him. Come on, buddy. Yes, sir. God, that was such a cool bite. Oh, that was such a cool bite. Not a big fish, but he freaking annihilated it. That is so cool when the water is so clear 
that you can actually see the fish attacking and eating the lure. Let's see if we can ease him back in the water. I don't want to disturb more fish that might be hanging out shallow. See you later, buddy. Cool, <laughs> that was crazy. Weightless Texas rig is, is hard to beat when fish are super shallow. And a lunker log, as you guys should know by now, you rig that thing weightless, it's hard for a fish to say no. It hit the water about six feet behind the bass that was sitting right there. And all of a sudden he turned and just swam right to it. And before it could even hit the bottom, because you know these things, these things fall pretty slow. Before he could even hit the bottom, that bass was munching on it. I could feel it the entire time. That was, that was a cool freaking bite right there. Well, let's continue to cruise a little bit and walk. See if we can, oh, that's mud. Wow, that was, that was good. <laughs> oh, there's another one right there. Another one, another one, another one. Oh, he sees it. He's swimming over to it. No way. Surely that's not the same fish I just saw or caught. <laughs> no way. Oh man, one of them just ate it, but he, he kind of, he hit it, but he didn't eat it. What's going on here? I love coming to a pond that I haven't been to in a long time and just see the fish just fired up. That may have been the one that I just caught. There's another one with him though. Cause he's acting, he's acting interested, but he's also a little skittish. I'm trying to catch that other one that was with him. Oh, there's a little bluegill swimming around with him too. What in the world? Come on little bass, he's looking at it. I don't know if that's the same one I caught or not. It probably is because he's kind of around the same area. Yeah, we'll leave him alone for a minute. We don't want to catch him twice. Oh God, I broke my ankle. Oh my goodness, just scared of thing. Oh, there's a, there's something right there. Is that a bass? Come on, yeah, it is. And he's looking at the lunker log too. Come on guys, oh, there's two of them. Oh, oh, they're nosing up on it, but I'm snagged on something. Oh, that sucked. There was two of them nosing up on it but I got snagged on something, so I had to pop it loose. Yeah, there's two of them right there. Y'all see that tree in the water right there? Oh, there's three. There's three bass right there. Come on. They're decent size too. Bigger than that first one was. Yes, there's three, nice. There's four. Oh my goodness. I, need, I gotta try to get my big camera and see if y'all can see this. Can I see them right there? They're right, look at that, there's three of them right there. Look at that, that is so cool. I got my polarizer on my lens here so you can actually see them. Look at those jokers. Those are nice little like two pound bass right there. Certainly nice ones that we'd like to catch. Let's see if I can turn my lens a little bit. Oh, that's too bright. Now you guys can't see anything. There we go, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. There's a few of them and we need to catch them. God, one of them is like three pounds. What about the old trench hog? Ah, scared him. Spooked him. Come on, Lojo. Get it together, man. You can't cast that close to them. You just want it to be near them, not right on top of their face hole. They're looking at it. God, there's more right here. There's some bluegill, nice size bluegill. There's bass. Who would have thought the fish population was this good out here? A tiny little pond, drive by it all the time. It's like a little school of them. I'm gonna try swimming this trench hog past them. Oh, one swiped at it. He swiped at it. Let's leave these fishies alone and see if we can find more. I tell you what though, I've only been out here one other time. And that time I caught two fish and those are the only two fish I saw, at least today. We are seeing fish. I've seen like seven bass. So that's really a good thing because it gives us hope for the future. Got a little guy right here. See if I can not spook him. Oh, I got spooked. <laughs> the line hit the water. Oh, he's coming back now. He's coming back. Yeah, he's like running. <laughs> if they're running away from a crawfish, that's not too good. On another note, there's a giant shadow of a fish out here moving. I thought it was something in the water. I thought it was like a, an object or something in the water. Uh, it's not, it's a fish because it has now moved. <laughs> and it was huge, it was like, oh yeah, I can see it, it's right out there. It's like three feet long. 
Now, I don't know if this is a catfish or a carp. I don't know if they routinely put stuff like that in ponds this small. Wow. Um, okay, so we need to do some research. Uh, catfish or a giant carp and kind of figure out how, how to catch those jokers. I've never really caught them like that. Well, while we're here, we might as well check out this other small secondary pond. Now, the thing about this pond is, and it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing, it's slightly less clear. It's a little bit murkier water, which I actually kind of prefer, to be honest with you. The problem is with this pond, we've never really seen, you know, a lot of fish in it. You know, I think the first time I came out here, nothing. Uh, I think I've driven by it before and just kind of walked around looking for beds and fish on beds, and I could never really see anything. But it stands to reason that if there's fish in that pond, there's definitely going to be fish in this pond too. Really like this color. It's like green pumpkin on one side and it's got like gray on the other. One of my favorite presentations. I think its color is called natural if I'm not mistaken. God, there's giant, I think those are carp. There's some in here too. They're, they're ginormous. Two just went swimming by the fountain. Holy crap, those are some giant fish. Golly, yeah, we definitely got to come carp fishing out here. That's next up on the agenda. I also see a bobber in the water broken off. That, I need to know who else is out here fishing besides me. I need to know. There's got to be some right here. There's stumps in the water. There's these little tree overhangs right there, which I am like in it now. And come on. Ooh, that's a fish. Come on, buddy. And my, how did my drag slip on that fish right there? Wow. <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. These are the fish that'll hook you right here, I'm telling you. Look at that little aquarium bass right there. Beautiful little bass. Look at him. Look at the colors on that guy. Whoop. Oh, almost fell in the pond. How did he even get this worm in his mouth? Is what I want to know. Okay, so two things we know. There are fish in here. Well, three things. The Slim Shake worm may have been a good choice, and this drag needs to be tightened. Tightened. Oh, oh I'm in there. I'm in there. Come on. Got to be a solid one, two pounder in here somewhere, right? Ooh, that'd be a... F Ooh, I just had a fish chewing on my worm. Oh, is he there? Oh, I had him. That was the craziest, weirdest bite of all time. Do I even have a worm still? Nope. <laughs> that was crazy. So I made like this bomb cast to the other side of the pond, right where it starts to get shady again. And man, I thought... I thought my line was moving, but there was like no weights on the other side. It was kind of weird. And then finally, all of a sudden, I felt the pullback, you know? And holy shnikes, that felt like a much decent, much more decent fish. <laughs> Gosh! I had it like way over here, like almost, that's almost the exact same cast. Maybe he spit out the first one. Oh, there he is again. Again. Got him that time. Got him that time. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than the last one. Not by much, but we'll take him. Need to water ski him on in just in case he's not hooked very well. Yeah, he's a, he's a slight upgrade from the first one. All right, look at that. At least that one's got some head and shoulders on him. The last one was just a tiny little joker. I'm not sure if this is the same one or maybe they're like schooled up over there. Or maybe they're, you know, shallow water beds. No worm in his mouth. All right, you little stinker. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to doink you on your head like that. <laughs> Boom, two fish out of small pond number two. Guess we could get this, uh, or attempt to get this bobber and the line out of the water. Do our good Samaritan deed for the day. I'd like to do something good if I can. Oh gosh, this is gonna be close. Oh, I can't, I can just almost reach it. Okay, I got it, I got the line. Oh, he snagged good. Ah, he's snagged like really good. Oh, I got it. Heck yeah. Oh, I got the bobber at least. Maybe I can, oh heck yeah, we got it. We undid it. Sweet. Look at all this line we're about to get out of this pond. Yes, doing good for the world. There's a nice bass right here in front of me. Oh wow, he is nice. That looks to be like a three pounder or something like that. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my drag is way too loose. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Come on, buddy, stay on. That's a nice fish. That's a, that's a two and a half, three pounder. Please stay hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. 
He's barely hooked. No, please don't do that. No, please don't do that. Oh, he's barely hooked. Yes. Yes, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Came back to this to this big pond over here. And uh, yeah, that's definitely why we wanted to come back to this pond. That's a two and a half skinny, skinny fish, but a really nice fish nonetheless. Wow. Barely hooked through the weightless lunker log behind him. These fish, if we know one thing about these fish, that weightless lunker log, they just cannot not eat it. It's just, it's really hard for them. Final look. Whew. Thank you so much, buddy. How are their fish this big in this pond? That's all I want to know. There we go. He sat right up. There he goes. Boom, he woke up. He's got a freaking head on him. Or she, it, they. It's crazy. When I first walked up, I saw a giant carp came, come scooting out of this shallow water. And he caused this just massive wake. So I was kind of distracted by him. And I looked over here and I just saw a nice bass sitting there, almost like he was looking at me. So I flipped the lunker log, you know, like th three, four, five feet to his left. That way it wouldn't spook him. And he went right after it. He didn't even think about it. Went right after it, ate it before it even hit, hit the bottom. Heck yes. Wowzers. My heart can't take much more. Here we go. Oh wow, look, we can see everything too. The water is so clear and so shallow on this side. From up here, I can just see everything. Ooh, there's a nice bass right there. Let's hit him with the old lunker log. The good thing is we were really far away. So there's no way he can see us or hear us. Oh, he's swimming over to it. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh yeah, he's looking at it. Oh, oh no. Come on, he's right behind it. Oh my gosh, he's right behind it. Oh geez, he's right behind it. He's looking right at it. Oh, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it. Got him, yes. Let's go baby, sight fishing from like 50 feet above him. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm sorry we got you a little dirty right there, buddy. I'm really sorry. Oh my goodness, that was so freaking cool. We got him a little dirty. Sorry about that guy. That was one of the craziest bites of the day. Hold on, my camera's all crazy. And it's got ants on it. Wow, sight fish that bad boy from about 50 feet above him. Yes. That right there just made my entire day. Thought he was a tad bit bigger than that. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Boom, right back out to where he came from. Oh, that was the coolest thing ever. Oh man, that's what we call playing the hand we're dealt right there. We had to climb up this hill, climb around some woods and climb back down a hill. But the good thing was I could see them. I could see those jokers. Then I can just pick and choose my cast, pick and choose a fish that I want to go after. Gosh, that was the coolest thing ever. And that was, a, he actually made me work for that bite. He wasn't, he didn't just like turn around and attack it like some fish have today. He like, he, he, he followed it, he reacted to it, but then he kind of swam away. Then he kind of swam back when I twitched it. Then he got right behind it and I had to keep twitching it to get him closer and closer to it. And finally he got like right behind it. I mean, I'm talking about like that far away and I let it sit still for a minute and I jerked it really hard and he just attacked it. He was not having that. Ooh, that's a fish. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if it was one of those first ones. This one's pretty small. Look at him just freaking, <laughs> he was swimming so hard, so fast. I didn't even feel a bite on that one. That was crazy. Ouch! Told you, small ones will hook you. Wow, did not feel your bite at all, buddy. You must have just inhaled that freaking lunker log and just moved on with your life. Yoink. Well, I hate to stop fishing, but gosh, I don't know if I could do any better than this. <laughs> Plus, that may have been the last lunker log that I had. We were freaking on them. Gosh, darn it, it's so much fun to catch fish. This time of year, why did the coronavirus have to happen in the springtime? That's my only question. So I feel terrible for all you guys that are literally stuck inside like there's nothing you can do can't leave the house can't go fishing i'm just in one of those states where luckily i kind of i kind of can there you have it kids i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it right here what a day what a, a little adventure between these two fountain ponds 
Turns out there were some big fish hiding in there, that little three pounder. And I saw a couple more that I just wasn't able to catch, but I don't even care. This is such a great day for me. I mean, if Lojo can go out there, <laughs> referring to myself in the third person, like I'm a cool guy or something. If I can go out there and catch five, six fish a day in one pond, I mean, this is like a two hour frame of time too. It's not like I've been out here all day. I'm pretty happy with that. Not to mention learning that there's giant carp out here. So we're definitely gonna add that to our list of things to do during quarantine. Let's come out here and try to just stick a couple nice carp. I saw big ones in here. I saw big ones in the other pond over there. And they were like three, four feet long. They were huge, a couple of them. Now, I haven't seen a lot of them, but I've seen at least two in each pond. So if I throw a couple bread bowls or some corn nuggets out there, they should be coming to investigate that. And they should get caught. If I'm using some super light line, it's going to be a heck of a good time. Anyways, folks, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Again, big shout out to the video sponsor. I'm going to put all their information in the description. Go check them out. Let me know in the comment section what you guys have been up to, what you guys have been doing during quarantine. You know, if you're able to fish, if you're not able to fish, just kind of let me know how you guys are doing. I like to stay, stay up to date with everybody because everybody lives in different states around the country and around the world. So I'd like to know kind of how your state is handling coronavirus precautions and what, what you're allowed to do right now, you know, because Alabama can't be the only state where they're allowing people to go out, like do outdoor recreation, as long as they're by themselves. Obviously the Texas rig was the, the lure of the day. I mean, that's all I brought because I just thought, you know, fish are up shallow, whether they're on beds or not. A lot of these were cruising. A lot of these weren't even on beds. This, they may be post-spawn by now. I don't know. Normally ponds with fountains in them, the water temperature is regulated pretty well. So they could have already went through their spawning process by now. I have no God honest idea what part of their cycle they're in. All I know is the Texas rig was smoking them, specifically the weightless lunker log, which I mean, that's just, it's a killer lure, always has been, always will be. All right, folks, I am getting out of here on to the next outdoor adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Fist bump, I'm out.